Hey everyone, welcome to another instalment of the Para Bros channel. Um, today, just wanted to show you what I've been doing, what I've been working on. Um, we've been trying to do a sort of a DIY boot delete, sort of rear seat delete boot build thing. Um, trying to keep the cost down, because you can buy one, but they're about... Um, someone makes them aftermarket for about £400, or you can buy a genuine one for in excess of £1,000. Um, so I just thought I'd show you quickly what we have when it's stripped out. So I've so taken the rear seats out and taken this lower folding trim out um, but yeah so there it is in its sort of naked form and as you can see there not a lot to go on and I will show you how to take it from this to that so how do you think what do you think eh looks good eh right so now let's show you how we built it right guys I'll just show you the two pieces that I've made so this is the the lower section uh, which will be where the rear seats were now, this is literally just constructed of a flat piece, uh, and on the other side, there's a couple of small trims, about 10-15mm sort of um, in width, by the thickness of 12mm um, MDF, and a piece of wood there, which I'm just going to put a little bit of foam on on the bottom afterwards, just to stop it squeaking. And this sits on the lower half, um, and it will have some fixings just in the back edge here, once materialed. Um, to fix it into the other one so it won't go anywhere. And let me show you the other one. That's the main one. <clears throat> so that is made, constructed of, basically, the boot carpet, which is what I did was just lay it on top, which is where that line is, marked it all, just literally on a sheet of wood, laid it on top, drew around it, cut it out. Um, but what I did was I added um, four inches onto the end. Let me go around the other side, you can see. <clears throat> so I added four inches onto the end, just enough um, so then you can go straight down which I'll show you so so I added yeah I added four inches on at the end here so you go past when the, when it finishes add four inches on and just flare it outwards because the shape of the rear door card goes wider as it gets there and then what I've done is dropped a recess of seven inches and added a piece of wood on the bottom which is where our seat delete part is going to sit on top and screw into and that's just held on by a bit of wood at the back then I cut out the two um, anchor points just so that I can still use in there and that also fixes this down into the car and then obviously we can fix the seat delete to that bit there so it's really straightforward um, cutting out wise I mean the the rear seat bit I just made with a piece of cardboard just get a big bit of cardboard and just cut it, keep cutting it till you get it right. Um, it's very simple. I'll, I'll do a quick sketch and I'll put a picture of that up at the end just to give everyone a rough idea of measurements but you will have to do a little bit of trimming just to get it absolutely perfect. Um, so right, we'll move on to our material. Now I went to Dunelm and I bought some sort of faux suede Alcantara kind of uh, material which is quite nice. It's the closest I could find to sort of stock look um, but I didn't want to buy just acoustic carpet. You can do and it is pretty hard wearing, but I just wanted something a bit more plush. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the smaller bit and then I'll show you how we get on. Right, so now we get on to covering. Um, what you've got to do is make sure you cut a piece big enough, make sure it'll overlay everywhere you need it to, front and back. Get it all laid out nice and flat. And then what you want to do is just start by spraying a bit of glue. This is some uh, heavy duty adhesive carpet glue, same as most I'm sure and then just, just coat up the, the area you want to stick and also you want a, a staple gun um, just to hold it down it is dead handy to have it just stops it pulling off in the future now you want to try and get it nice and tight as you pull it up work it up onto it and what I'll do is just onto the back edge I'll just put a staple in there to hold it this will won't be seen this is will be on the bottom Ooh. 
go. And then just repeat that process all the way around. When you get to the joins, um, you might need to do some cuts and then just fold it over, over the edges. Uh, but we'll do that when we come to it and then I'll show you it when we're done. There's the complete item. Um, we'll get it in the car and then we'll see what you think. We just need to, uh, I just need to cut these out carefully so it doesn't damage the fabric. And then get them in. And then that's it. Looked a bit like a grand piano. <laughs> right, I'll get it fitted and then we'll come back to you in kind of our last few words, see what you think. Hey guys, just thought I'd show you what it looks like in the car. I hope you can see that. I'm pretty chuffed. Plenty more usable boot space now. But yeah, I think with the suede, the suede is nice but I reckon it'll mark really quickly so I might end up going back to acoustic carpet anyway but we'll see how time goes, I'll keep you guys updated Thanks for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it let me know uh, if you have a go yourself or if you feel like you're going to have a go feel free to post any best best trips or tips or tricks of what you've done um, share with the community but yeah that's how I've done it, I'm pretty happy it's not quite exactly the same as the OEM but to be honest, everyone likes to be a little bit different, and I quite like that. Quite a lot of space if I want to go away. Plenty of boot space. But yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. It's another video from the Parabros. Bye now.